Okay, uh, this is a video that I'm making because, oh, this is a video because Microsoft is stupid. I bought for Forza Horizon 4 on Xbox, and uh, it will not help me connect to online, and this is a Forza Horizon specific issue. So I went through the tech support, and this is literally, you guys aren't going to believe this, this is literally what Microsoft told me to do. I did all sorts of things in command line. I reset the connection adapters. Now it's telling me to delete all my Xbox Live credentials. Look at this. XBL, XBL, XBL. There's literally dozens of these fucking files. And you think like, okay, just delete them all at once, right? No, you have to do this and then hit remove and then this. And you have to just keep doing this one by one, one by one. Microsoft. You, you, first of all, you were telling me that my Torito adapter was broken. Then you were telling me to go to settings that didn't even exist. And now I have to delete every single Xbox Live credential? Like, are you kidding me, Microsoft? Do you even read your own support articles? But I'll, I'll be nice. I'll, I'll do it for you, Microsoft. I'll, 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 I'll follow every little convoluted step that you want to tell me, you know? This is this is a perfect example of why Microsoft does not give a shit about their customers anymore. And I guarantee you, I'm going to go, I'm going to delete every single credential, and I guarantee you it's not going to work. Because they decided to force Torito on people instead of understanding that people have different network types. Torito, for those of you that don't know, basically turns all IPv6 data into IPv4. Meaning, if you have an outdated, uh, if you have an older network configuration, it basically helps you along. But the problem is, most Torito functionality has now been, as of this date, removed from Windows 10. And I would not surprise me if the reason that they're doing this is so that you will upgrade to Windows 11. We have about a year left before Windows 11 is forced on everybody, and. I just, I'm done. This is why I don't buy games from the Microsoft Store. I had extra Bing Rewards points, so I didn't even actually pay for the game. But it's like, if this is how you're going to behave, Microsoft... And the funny thing is, I could test this to see if Forza Horizon 5 has the same problem. But, A, I'm not paying for their overpriced Game Pass service, and I'm not... I'm just not dealing with it anymore, Microsoft... So, I cleared every single password. I know that's overkill, but I did it. Now let's see. I'm gonna reset the computer and we'll see if it works.